Okay, let's go ahead and get the project started. A project in Circuit Studio consists of links to all documents and setups related to the design. A Circuit Studio project file is an ASCII text file that lists which documents are in the project and stores project specific options. The process of creating a new project is very straightforward. First, we will create the project, then we can add a blank schematic and a blank PCB document to the new project. First, let's get a clean workspace to start with. Go to File, Close All to close any open projects and related files. If you're prompted to save, just click on Save None and then press OK. This should give you an empty workspace to start with. Next, we'll select File, New PCB Project from the menu. You'll be shown the Create New Project from Template dialog. Go ahead and look in the Blank folder and select Blank PCB Project on this dialog. We'll go ahead and set the name of this project to Multivibrator. And we'll just use the default location for this project, but we do want to make sure that the Create Project Folder checkbox is enabled. And then go ahead and click OK. Review your Projects panel, and it will be displaying the new project file with no documents added. Next, we will add a new schematic document. Go ahead and right click on the project, add new to project, and select schematic. Next, we will add the PCB, so right click again, add new to project, PCB. We now have the files we want to start the project with. At this point, the files exist only in memory. When we go to save these files for the first time, we will be prompted for a location and asked to name each file. Use File, Save All to begin this process. Since we created our project with its own project folder, this should be the default location to save our remaining project files. Save your PCB with the name Multivibrator. There's no need to type in the extension as it knows what file type it is. Go ahead and click Save. Next up, it will automatically prompt us to also save the schematic file again. Go ahead and name it Multivibrator. Again, no need for the extension. And go ahead and click Save. All three of these files, schematic, PCB, and project, should now be located within your project folder. The first thing to do before we start drawing our circuit is to set up the appropriate document options. So let's go ahead and complete the following steps. On the ribbon, go ahead and choose the Project tab. And let's go ahead and click onto the schematic to make sure it is our focus document. And then we're going to click on the Document Options to open the Document Options dialog. For what we're doing here, we're just going to change the sheet size. So let's go ahead and change this sheet size to Letter. To click OK, this will close the dialog and update the sheet size. To make the document fill the viewing area, you can go to the View tab and click on Zoom Document. The hotkey for this is Control Page Down. And now we're going to go ahead and save the schematic sheet with the hotkey Control S. Next, we will set the general schematic preferences. Select File, System Preferences, and then we want to look into the schematic area of the Preferences dialog. This dialog allows you to set global preferences that will apply to all schematic sheets that you work on. Open the schematic graphical editing page of the dialog, and in the lower right, you can change your cursor type from small 90, which is the default, to large cursor 90, if you prefer your cursor to match what I will be using, or any other cursor that you may want to use here. And in the upper right, we want to adjust the auto pan speed slider a bit more towards the slower side over here. Uh, we can always hold down the shift key while we're auto panning to speed it up if it pans too slowly. Uh, but the default is a little bit fast for most folks in my experience. So I tend to recommend turning it down. 
Let's go ahead and press OK to exit this dialog. And coming up next, we will begin capturing our schematic.